Come back, I'm gonna bring you the top five items that I use for camping. And every one of these, you'll be able to see, I do use these things. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick, Mid-10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. Hey, if you want this t-shirt, there's going to be a link. It's going to pop up right now uh, for you to go purchase it. I have them in a couple different colors, but this is my On the Road Again t-shirt. Would love for you to go uh, buy a few. Wardrobe, you know. Anyways, uh, a couple weeks ago, I brought you top five items that I bought that I thought I would use at some point, whether it be camping or whatever, or slaying zombies, but that never happened, so I never used them. Um, actually, I just never found the practicality behind them. Uh, matter of fact, one of those particular items I've actually sold, and it's only leaving, as you see this video, leaving to go to the new owner. Um, but these top five items, they won't be going anywhere anytime soon because I use them all the time. So let's roll into it. So number one, pretty big dude, so I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the way. This one is called the Special Forces Shovel by Safari Land. This is it. It comes in this little sheath right here. Um, Unlike some of the other things, this you could stick on a belt because it does have a loophole here. It does have a way of attaching it to something here. Um, I first thought I would never really use this after I got it, but then I got it and I, I use it all the time. You'll see it's kind of a small shovel. What I have found it great for is doing two things. If I need to clean out a fire pit, it works perfect. It's just right. You get you know some of that stuff out of the way or if I need to move the fire around a little bit I will grab this thing and move the logs around and then stick it in the dirt and it's ready to go you know it's sitting right there by the campfire all the time um, if you're wondering about the dimensions on it it's 11.88 inches long um, as far as you know the width of the shovel itself is 4.5 and it's kind of generous like maybe a maple handle i would say it's definitely not oak or anything like that it's definitely probably some kind of maple uh, but there is no indication of what brand this is just a simple fact i bought it off of amazon and i know which one it was and i saved it in my cart matter of fact there will be a list down below or a link down below that you can buy four out of the five items on Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is definitely on that list. And I've used this quite a bit also. Um, now, some of you may be more traditionalist. I do have a traditional axe or hatchet in the truck. But I've also got this. And I've used this a lot more than I have the other stuff. This is the Fiskars X11 splitting axe. It has got a splitting head on it. It's not just for chopping, but it can be used for chopping. I have chopped with it. But you can see it's got that uh, widened uh, head on it so it will split. Now, I honestly, I love this thing. Um, it, it's sharp as all get out. I have yet to sharpen it. I am bringing everything in to clean it up and get it ready for this season. Uh, it's a 17 inch long. Um, hatchet um, I, I think it works perfect for what I do um, I know I hadn't done many tra traditional campfires of late but uh, I may be bringing some of them back in certain times um, actually the last half of the year camping season uh, I wouldn't have been able to have a real campfire uh, we were under a fire ban for quite a bit of it so luckily I had my fire pit. I could have used it anytime. Uh, just camping got away from me this year. I don't know why. 2024, let's hope we uh, change that quite a bit. So if I'm cutting up, I'm splitting up some wood and I've got some smaller pieces to cut up, maybe I don't want to use the ax. Well, that's where this item comes into play. The Baco Laplander folding saw. 
Now, I love this saw. I know there's other brands out there people like more. I like this one. It's a fast cutting. You've got um, 396 teeth here, and they are stupid sharp on this little saw. I've used this quite a bit around the house, too, uh, trimming trees and stuff, and that's basically what it is. It's a landscaper's uh, trimming saw, but it works excellent for cutting wood out in the bush, wherever, camp you know, overlanding, whatever you're doing. It works excellent. I love this little saw. It does have a little lanyard on it so you can put your hand in it and go to town cutting and it not slip out of your hand. But it also has a pretty nice grip to it that um, pretty well secures up, especially if you're wearing gloves, which in Scouts, I was always taught when you're doing this kind of stuff to wear gloves. So... A little safety note out there if you want to in goggles or glasses One. okay the smallest item in this bunch is something I actually carry every day but I really use it when I'm camping a lot um, this would be my Leatherman P free P4 I never can say it right but that's this Leatherman right here the free P4 um, I'll, I have a video on this thing. I'll link it down below too. But I love this because number one, you have the one-handed opening. Let's see if my fingers are too cold to do it. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, you have the one-handed opening on most of the, all the tools on this thing. Um, especially if you get to like on the screwdriver side. And I, I, I've used the screwdrivers on this quite a bit. You just take your thumb and press it in there and they pull up and choose whichever one you want to use and you can lock it into place now if you're done with it you push the little lever on the side there and it folds down does have a pocket clip i'm a pocket clip type guy for my uh, multi-tools i love that leatherman put a pocket clip on this um, i'm not a big fan of the sheath that leatherman puts out they, now I know there's options out there in the world, but I prefer to carry it in my pocket because this is actually the only pocket knife that I will carry on me when I'm camping and stuff is this right here. Okay, so the next knife you're not going to be able to find on Amazon at all. I actually purchased this knife on eBay. I'm pretty, I, know, I know it is. I purchased it on eBay. Uh, the brand of it, and I'm trying to see it, is CFK Cutlery, Cutlery Company. This is D2 tool steel, but this is kind of my camp bush knife. It's kind of geared towards bush crafting. Um, it's got an ample grip on it right here. Probably eight inches long altogether, four inches on the blade. Now the sheath that come with, I don't use it. I, this one was custom made for me by YouTube channel MCK. MK, MCK, yeah, I think that's right. I'll leave a link to his channel down below too. Um, but I want he made it a dangler like I wanted. I have put this on my belt and carried it camping several times. Several times. I still use it to this day. I've cut steak with this thing. I've cut vegetables. I've done all kinds of preparing for cooking. I've made feather sticks with this knife, showing how to make them. It's a super sharp knife. It stays sharp. Um, but like I said, I've brought everything in for the winter and I'm gonna be freshening it up. But this sheath is held up awesomely. I mean, he did such an awesome job on this thing. I am stupid proud of this knife. I will never get rid of this knife. And, um, I'm just, I'm proud of it. It's a good, heavy, thick knife. I don't have the specs on it anywhere. It's not going to be, it's not super top professional style knife, but it, it, it kind of is. I guess if you hear what I, if you understand what I'm trying to say, it's not your top tier knives out there in the world, uh, top tier knife makers, but I like it. I mean, I like it enough that I sent it to him to make my sheath, and it does have a fire steel, and it does strike a fire steel, because I have done it before many times with this knife. Um, but 
that's my uh, that's my camp knife, my bushcraft knife, my overlanding knife. That's my big bladed knife I carry. Okay, so that's my top five tools I use camping all the time. All right, these live with me when I'm camping. Every piece of this is in my truck or on my body at some point. These two things, there's a lot of times I'll put this thing on when I get to camp, so I've got it in my hand. This is always in my pocket. The other tools, I just got to pop my box open in my truck, and there they are. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this list. If you have any questions, ask down below. I'll be sure and type out the answer. And to the fellow that bought the other knife, I'm sorry it's taking a little bit longer to get it out because... We have been snowed in for days, and we finally went back to work today, and I had a bunch of stuff going on trying to catch up, but I will get it out tomorrow. I promise you, UPS. Um, but that's it for this one. I appreciate everybody watching. None of this stuff's for sale. I can tell you that right now. None of this stuff's for sale because I'm cleaning it up, putting it back in the truck. Actually, this will be in my pocket tomorrow. If you don't believe me, uh, check Instagram. I'm going to put a I'll put an Instagram post up Wednesday morning. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Um, please subscribe, share, and like, and all that other good stuff. We'd like to keep those numbers going and keep that uh, keep this channel going. I got something really cool to bring you next week, too. It's still too cold to get out. It's supposed to rain all weekend. But I got something really cool I want to bring you that I purchased myself but I was actually just going to put it in the truck and it has yet to make it out to the truck because I keep using it in the house. See you on the next one, guys. Be prepared.